Hello again from an extremely sunny inner trans in Berlin. It's Friday, the last day, and I have found Aoife. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> hey Aoife. Hey, how are you? We know your name. Where do you come from? I come from Ireland, as my name indicates. However, I'm a fleet engineer with Heathrow Express in London. What does that mean? It means that I look after the safety and reliability of all of our trains that go between London Paddington and Heathrow Airport. In how long? In how long? 15 minutes. We are the fastest airport express service in all of London. However, we're also um, a premium service, so we cater to a lot of business class passengers, but also we have a lot of family and leisure travellers too. So if you're in a rush and you need to get to that airport, Heathrow Express is your number one. Thanks for that advert. So I wanted to talk to you about, so we're obviously here, I'm here from the Rail Innovation Group, talking about mm -hmm. skills for the future. Absolutely. What would you say to a young person about a career in rail? I think don't underestimate what a career in rail can offer you. Um, lots of people think of railways, they think of train drivers or someone in their orange high vis out in the track. That's only a tiny part of rail. Literally any career you can think of is involved with rail. Anything from human resource to obviously engineering, but you've got law, you even have doctors and emergency services people involved with rail. So really whatever your interest is, there's something for you in rail and there's a lot of opportunities. So getting into it now as a young person is actually a really brilliant time for it. Okay, cool, good message. And we have obviously in the chance there's thousands of products and people mm. here. What have you seen that's innovative? I think there's a lot of investment and research going into new materials. As a mechanical engineer, that's a, a big interest of mine. Um, and I think really, especially coming from sort of your East Asian markets, um, people are really starting to think about lighter, lightweight trains and vehicles and how to make things go faster, obviously, is taking away that weight. So we've seen a carbon fibre train, for example, from CRRC from China. So I think um, we've, we've done a lot in terms of how much power we can put into things and now we actually have to think more innovatively in how we actually use our materials. Okay, so what do, have you been shopping for? Looking what for? have I been shopping for? Um, well, currently with Heathrow Express we're looking at getting some new trains and we're doing modifications so it's brilliant for me to be here and see uh, certain interior suppliers and industrial designers and really seeing what the pinnacle is and what's on offer for interiors of new train designs. Okay, focus on the passenger focus on the passenger absolutely I mean that's but we, we work in a public transport sector we are the customer at the end of the day so it actually makes our jobs quite easy but also you really have to remember who your particular customer is what their persona is and what their needs are you could have a brilliant train or a brilliant bus or a brilliant car but if it doesn't meet your passengers needs then you haven't done your job perfect good message think of the passenger end user end user or user centered design it's what any good design really should be perfect cool thank you for your time thank you Liam it's been that way now